it's Sarah from All Coin Bass Lady. So today we're gonna talk about iota and tangle. We're not gonna focus too much about what tangle is, but more about the recent developments and updates, what's been happening around in iota, and just basically summarize all the positives that have been coming out from iota. So I'm using CoinGecko right now, not CoinMarketCap. I'm sort of fancying it and I quite like how the website works. So bear with me and you're gonna have to get used to it. <laughs> so we've got IOTA, position 18, trading currently at 52 cents and it's down almost 4% in 24 hours with a total 24 hour trading volume of 35 million. So you can get IOTA from exchanges like Binance, Bitfinex, OK Exchange and many many more with obviously Bitcoin. Tether, Ethereum, and many, many more. But the reason why I'm gonna talk about IOTA is because it was one of the best performing cryptos over the weekend. It pushed up by over 15% to trade about 55 cents. And this was mainly driven by a tweet yesterday about the test of Car IOTA 2. Basically, this is a car that is connected to the IOTA Tangle and data can be accessed securely on the Tangle through a laptop or any other device. Well, it's just a test and at a very small level, it goes to show the inroads that IOTA is making in the mobility industry, which is basically a multi-billion industry that IOTA is already disrupting. That was over the weekend and today we had more good news coming out about IOTA that will give it a momentum to keep growing going into the future. So eToro has announced that they will start offering IOTA as part of its growing list of cryptos that investors can trade on the platform. And while eToro is a CFD platform which makes it quite different from a conventional exchange in terms of how investors interact with their coins, it is still something positive for the IOTA community. That's because it introduces IOTA to a wider audience which will spur demand. And eToro is one of the best known forex platforms in the world and transacts millions of dollars on a daily basis. I mean, I walk to my work and I walk past taxis that has got eToro on them. It's one of the good ones to be on to definitely. And if a good percentage of this money starts flowing into IOTA, it will add to this crypto's demand as well as the liquidity needed to give it a push in price going forward. And obviously all of those are great news for a crypto that is already proving to be of real utility in the new AI driven economy and we've also had a few months ago it's quite an old news but I am not entirely sure if I'm gonna say it wrong but I'm gonna say Elad announced the launch of the world's first smart charging stations so basically through this station vehicles that have the required hardware and software are able to charge and make payments automatically using IOTA it also works for cars that don't have the necessary software since the owner can charge and manually make payments from their IOTA wallet. The Elad Smart charging station marked the entry of IOTA into the IOT economy, which looks set to become the next big leap for humanity. And in the near future, machine-to-machine -machine communications will be the norm. And IOTA has demonstrated that it is way ahead of the curve on this front. And as more of these smart charges launch all across the world, the demand for IOTA will skyrocket. And given that electric Trick, autonomous cars look said to be the next revolution in the automobile industry. It then follows that IOTA has one of the biggest use cases in all crypto, especially considering that one of the recent researches that almost 60% of top 100 cryptos don't actually have a working product. And I think gives a lot to think about the current market situation. So guys, let me know what you think of IOTA and actually of what I just said of the research. If you guys haven't heard of it yet, Oh, if it's the first thing you hear about it, definitely go and check it out. It's quite an interesting read, to be fair. So what I'm trying to get to is that if we combine this with the coming reality of smart cities that are driven by the Internet of Things and you have yourself a cryptocurrency that is massively undervalued possibly when trading at under one dollar. In fact, the eToro news alone could easily push IOTA back to over one dollar within the week. And in the long run, when these applications go large scale, IOTA will be trading at multiple times to what it was trading at when it hit all-time highs in 2017. So speaking of all-time high, let's look. It was exactly, see, CoinGecko is quite easy to use because you've got a dot, a spot on the important part and you can easily get the price of it. So on the 19th December, the price of IOTA was $5.25. The level that we are right now, it was November 
11th November, that's when it was the price that we are right now. And the, the situation with the market and the official sale, and this is not professional financial advice, I need to say that first. Um, I'm just trying to say that loads of cryptos are on a really good price and we might not have seen the dip yet. There might be more blood to be spelled in crypto, but it's important to know whether the projects you have previously invested in and are down 70, 80, 90% are actually legit and worth holding to and buying more into it. So guys, let me know what you think of IOTA. Subscribe to All Coin Bus Ladies. Remember to follow me on Twitter at All Coin Sarah and follow us at All, All Coin Bus Ladies as well. I basically post lots of different stuff, retweet the videos. Also, we had the China releasing the blockchain ranking for August again, and the US is leading it with Bitcoin being the last one in the rank. So if you guys have been following it, it's been quite ongoing for a few months right now. It's quite interesting to see. We've also got stocks in Crocs being a better long-term investment than Bitcoin. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it, but it is what it is, unfortunately. So if this is sort of a content you guys enjoy, give me a follow. It'll be quite fun. So anyway, guys, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment on what you want me to review next, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Have a good one.